What's up, everybody? My name is Maruma Tu, and you are watching What's Up with the Moon today on Sun Soul Astrology for Friday, February the 21st of 2020. Now, the moon is still making its transit through the sign of Aquarius, which is fixed air and rolls over the 11th house of the zodiac, which I call the quantum realm, and its ruler is Uranus, right? So, this is our ability to kind of let go of the things that have been weighing us down and also. So causing us to have stagnation in our life. Uh, Aquarius is all about experimentation. It also rules over extraterrestrials, timeline jumping, time travel, anything that is outside of our typical mundane 3D awareness has to do with this Aquarian nature. And we've just moved out of Aquarius season, going into Pisces. We're just before a new moon happening on the 23rd. And so this moon is going to be void, of course, from late tonight going into the 23rd. So this is a time to go inside, go deep, and really evaluate the things in your life that are um, valuable and tangible, the things that really uplift you, that make you feel more complete with inside yourself as the moon is going to be making a beautiful sextile to Venus in the sign of Aries. So Venus rules over money and love and beauty, our relationships, and as well, the possessions that we hold. And that could be physical objects. It can also be the connection of a relationship with people or our careers, our projects and the things that we just naturally engage with, our hobbies and our aspirations, like even our dreams are things that we highly possess a lot of times. But whenever the moon is void, of course, it's very much like the Mercury retrograde energy that we're already in. And so absolutely not the time to go out and really push for something to manifest in the physical. Uh, not necessarily the time to sign a new contract, to buy a new high ticket item, or to also, um, you know, start a new job or even, you know, make a firm commitment with a relationship because this is whenever things are being rearranged in the quantum realm. So perceptions are coming in, new enlightenment is happening, ideas are spawning. So where you are or somebody else is at this exact moment may not be where they end up going through that new moon and coming out of the void of course session. So it's just kind of like, be be enjoying of your time, be <laughs> enjoying of your time, yeah, uh, like literally just kind of take some time for yourself, and the moon is going to be also in a semi-square to both Mars and to Chiron, which can trigger some wounds, especially if we are pushing too hard for something to happen, because of course Mars is in Capricorn and it wants to gain some major traction and create, push forward, and it's coming up to that south node conjunction. So absolutely go over to sunsoul.tv where you can rent for 24 hours for $2 or become a monthly member, and that's where I do all of the daily transits for everything happening in the sky. But it it is a big deal and the moon is sensitive like in the sign of Aquarius it's not as sensitive as others because it is the most detached emotionally of all of the 12 zodiac signs um, so that's a nice part about it but at the same time it is ruled by Uranus so if things do get triggered and popped off if your wound gets uh, kind of if your if your atomic button gets pushed you're gonna explode kind of a thing so it's a little bit of um, you know, either a black or white type of day. There's not a lot of gray happening. It's either it's going to be really great and you're going to take advantage of your own individual time and almost like hibernation, going in, seeking wisdom within yourself, or uh, it's not going to be that great, right? It's going to be a little bit um, irritating. It could be highly irritating, but almost like it's not 
necessarily in your face about why it feels that way. It's almost like whenever somebody just asks you if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed because in, on the surface level, things seem okay, but just inside, it's, it's feeling off. And that's just because there is this major call from the universe to pay attention to the healing process that we need to go through. And if we're neglecting that, then the universe has to really speak louder and that's whenever things start to feel more uncomfortable. So it's kind of like the peace dealer said the other day on Sun Soul TV, which was a free daily on his channel. Um, we have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's the truth about it because we're in strange and um, very malleable blending times right now. We're in high, highly mutable energy and we're reviewing the changes that we've made as mutable represents change, right? So uh, also our intuitions are going to peak and that is because we're having a semi-sextile with Neptune and also with Jupiter. So this is about higher knowledge and wisdom expanding and giving us some really deep spiritual insights. And speaking about spiritual insights, pimpmybody.life, the dedicated website for Pimp My Body is fully operational and up and running. I invite you all to go over and check it out. I am incredibly proud of it and excited to share it with you. And um, yeah, it is something that I have spent a lot of time and a lot of energy on and everything is there, especially if you wanna know more about the ingredients that I use, including the oils, the stones, and um, just the application of them. Everything is here, you can read about it, learn, and um, also just engage, I'm really, Again, excited. Thank you for everybody who's already made purchases and for all of you who will support in the future. It means a tremendous amount to me and I'm so grateful for it. Um, yeah, so again, just a quick little recap. There is high levels of spiritual insights and potential for your psychic gifts to really be activated today. Also for us to let go of things that have been um, really difficult to let go of <laughs> emotionally speaking whether it's a person or an idea or it's a um, connection to something that just no longer serves you and at the same time there is potential as mercury is retrograde and the moon is void of course for there to be major misunderstandings and this unknowing right? This isn't the day to push for an absolute answer once again. And so that may be the trigger for some of us as we experience this, this again, the semi-square to Mars and to Chiron. So focus on self-love and self-healing. Really give yourself a lot of credit for how far you've come. And if you do have relationships and friendships and also business partnerships, projects that are very harmonious and, um, very meaningful to you, those are only going to get more rich and more fulfilling as you go. It's all of the things that really don't fulfill you and aren't meant to be a part of your path that are going to be highly annoying and truly uncomfortable right now. Okay, so if you would like a personal reading with me, please go over to sunsoulastrology.com and check it out. I do have a couple of new readings, including the Starseed DNA PDF, and I love you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Um, this weekend's going to be a little different because of the fact that it is a new moon coming on the 23rd, so I will see you tomorrow. God bless. Pray to me.